this is the EcoFlow River 2, which is one of the cheapest and nicest power stations that you can get. And you can use this for your outdoor adventures to power up all your devices on the go or for home use as a backup electricity generator. For charging this device, it has multiple ways in which you can charge it. And the output capacity is of 300 watts with a surge capacity of approximately 600 watts. So in this video, I'll be doing an extensive review of this product in which I'll do a quick unboxing and then we'll also talk about the technicals. Then we'll cover the charging aspect where I'll show you the different ways in which you can, you know, charge this product. Uh, then we'll do a little touch base on the mobile app support. And towards the end, I'll do a lot of demonstrations to cover the exact output of this power station. And trust me, this is probably going to be the best video where you'll get all details about this product. So stick till the very end. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do that ASAP. So this is the kind of box that you get the product in. And in terms of unboxing, I'm not going to take much of your time. Uh, we'll do it pretty quickly because the fun part starts later. So the very first thing that you get in the box is the power station itself. And this weighs around 7.7 .7 LBS, which is just under three and a half kgs. And on the front panel, you've got all these output options. So one of them is the DC output. Then you've got some USB ports and an AC port as well. And then this is the main power button. And then for DC on and off and AC on and off, you have separate buttons. And on the back side, you've got this fan in the center, one AC input port and one DC input port. Next, we have this charging cable. So since I've purchased this product in India, uh, what you see is a different plug here. But EcoFlow has given two of these. One is for Indian use and the other one that I have in the box is uh, something that can be used with uh, sockets abroad. So that's a nice little thing that these people have done to you know promote their products in India. Next, you also get this DC charging cable. So this is something that you can use while on the go and you know you can charge the power station with this cable. So this basically plugs into your car's DC 12 volt and then it can recharge the EcoFlow. And last but not the least, we've got all of the documentation in this uh, little plastic over here. So this right here is the user manual, which has all the detailed instructions about the product. And then we have some additional docs, which are like the user manual and some support related cards, etc. All right. So the first thing that we'll cover is about charging this device and there are four different ways in which you can charge it so first we'll cover the direct electricity methods and here what i'm using is uh, my laptop's power cable which is a 65 watt adapter and this has a type c connection so this is also something that you can use to recharge this device and if i connect this to the front port which is like a type c port here uh, you can see that the charging gets started and it will show the amount of, uh, you know, the input watt that it's getting from the charger. So this charger is a 65 watt rated charger and you'll see that it's getting the similar kind of input from the charger and the recharge will happen accordingly. Now, similarly, you can also use your phone's charging adapter to recharge this device. Uh, this will be slightly slower because these adapters are not that fast. So here again, if I plug this into the type C port and when I power this on, you'll see the input watt that it's pulling and that's as per the output of your power adapter. So here I think it's pulling something around 17 watts and it's going to take a long time with these chargers. It's showing four hours to recharge. Now the next way of charging the EcoFlow is using this AC cable that's provided in the packaging. And this is the fastest method because uh, with this you can charge the device in less than an hour. Uh, so this is like a standard cable that we've got here. So we'll pull out the DC connection 
and on the back where we have the point to connect the AC uh, cable will connect this and once we start charging it you'll see that it pulls in a lot of power and it will recharge the power station within no time. Now here you can see that it's pulling in around 350 watts of input power and in terms of time required from 70% to 100% it's showing as uh, 19 minutes I think yeah something around 19 or 17 minutes so as per their technical specifications if you use this method for recharging the EcoFlow uh, it's going to recharge the device in an hour and here's the cool thing about this product so even if you're charging it you can parallelly use it to power your devices so here you can see that the input is 352 and my phone is consuming around 20 watts of power to recharge itself next you can also recharge the ecoflow 2 using the 12 volt socket on your car so the cable that's provided for this in the packaging can be used to uh, you know connect it to the river flow 2 and now here you can see that it's pulling in a power of 95 watts and from 28 percent to 100 percent it's showing somewhere around two hours i think it will take two hours or two and a half hours but this is something that you can use while on the go and charge the eco flow while in your car now the next method is probably the coolest way of charging the eco flow too and this is using solar panels so the cable that you need for this does not come as a part of the packaging you'll have to purchase it separately and it has two connectors which will connect to the solar panel and this yellow connector which will connect to the eco flow so here i have this cable which is running from the panel and uh, i can connect it to this uh, extra cable that i've purchased and it's like a very simple click and lock mechanism so after i connect this i can uh, you know connect the other end which was that yellow orange thing to the back of the eco flow so as per the tech specs it takes around 2.3 hours with a 110 watt solar panel to recharge the eco flow here i think it's going to take a lot longer because uh, it's not a bright sunny day you can see that the input is somewhere around 28 or 29 watts from the solar panel and with this kind of an input uh, it's definitely going to take more time um, so yeah this this kind of a setup depends on the sunlight that you have uh, at that moment and if you have good sunlight it's obviously going to charge the device quite faster all right so now it's time to do some performance tests to see how well this device performs uh, in you know powering up your devices so on the front panel here we've got different uh, usb connectors and we've also got this ac connector so i'm using this adapter because you know uh, i'm using this product in india and the kind of socket that ecoflow has is not supported here uh, along with this we also have this dc out which we'll check later but yeah these are all the options that you can use to power up your devices so i'm gonna plug in cables to all of the output options just to check how this works with multiple connections uh, so the first thing that i have is a dc out cable then i have these uh, usb cables which i'll plug in the usb ports so along with these two usb cables i also have a type c to type c cable that i'm plugging in now let's add some actual load to these cables so the very first thing that i'm connecting here is my insta 360 uh, so this also requires quite a lot of power to recharge itself then here's an ac floodlight uh, it's a 20 watt floodlight uh, so this is also something that I've plugged in. Let's quickly turn it on and see how it works. So here's the button for the AC uh, on off and you can see that the floodlight has turned on. So along with that I've also plugged in uh, my drone and a phone. So all of these things are now powering something or the other. 
Now for controlling all of the output, you get three dedicated buttons. So this one is for DC on off. The one on the right is for AC on off. And the one in the center is like a master control, which will either turn on the device or turn it off. And like I mentioned before, even while the device is charging, you can connect parallel load to it. So here you can see that the solar panel is charging the EcoFlow and simultaneously I have uh, certain devices connected to the uh, to the power station and those are being charged by the power station. So you don't have to wait for this thing to get charged before you use it. Lastly, the exposed thing lets you power on high power appliances. So this is a 500 watt mixer grinder that I've got here. And let's see if this actually works with the EcoFlow. And the results are here. So you can see that uh, the EcoFlow has no issues whatsoever in powering up the mixer grinder. The only thing that you need to be cautious here is like since it's consuming 330 watts plus, uh, it's going to drain the, the power station pretty quickly. So use this only in extreme cases when you really have to power on a high power appliance. Another thing that you can use this product for is for home backup. So here I have my laptop connected to this uh, EcoFlow and when I turn on the AC power, it's going to take the load that the adapter should, which is around, I don't know, 65 watts. Yeah. So yeah, it'll be something around 65 watts as per the adapter. And in this way, in, you know, uh, power outages, etc., you can use this for um, like as a power backup for your home. And now for the last bit of the video, I'm going to talk about the mobile app, which is very helpful for two major things. One is to track how much percentage the battery is left or how the charging is happening on the device. So you can add your device and then remotely track all of this on your phone. Uh, so it's quite convenient if you've placed the EcoFlow at a distance somewhere. And the other thing that you can do is uh, whenever there is a firmware upgrade, you can upgrade your EcoFlow using this app. So what's it, what it's going to do is basically it will connect using Bluetooth and Wi-Fi and then you can push the OTT updates to your device. Uh, you can do certain configurations that are available in the settings like with respect to the AC output, DC output, all of that. Uh, so all of these things are possible using the app and you don't really have those options on the device itself. So that's it for this one, guys. I think the EcoFlow River 2 is one of the best budget power stations that you can get. And even if you're not into all that outdoor stuff, this would still be of a good use as a power backup device. And uh, if we were to talk in terms of the actual time-based backup, then you can get up to 20 hours of backup for a 10 watt light bulb, 3.4 charges of a laptop. And even if you're using something like a blender, you can use it for 0.4 hours. Now, this is quite good for a small device like this one. So I think I've covered almost everything about this product, but if you still have any questions, you can leave those in the comment section below and I'll answer them as soon as possible. So thank you again for watching this video and do subscribe to my channel.